says from Camelot Commands. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do your own home fecal float so you can check for reptile parasites. Now, reptile parasites are very common in chameleons and can be picked up from anywhere. No matter how clean you keep your cage or how clean you keep your feeders, it's still possible for your chameleon to pick up parasites. Now, parasites affect both captive hatched and captive bred chameleons, as well as wild caught chameleons. Symptoms of parasites may include a loss of appetite, eating but still losing weight, runny or mucus covered stool, undigested feeders in the stool, or blood in the stool. But it is important to note that your chameleon may have parasites and not show any of these symptoms at all. This is why it's very important to periodically check your chameleon for parasites. We recommend checking every six months. Now this video is not going to be a substitution for a vet visit. If your chameleon appears sick or losing weight or has any of the symptoms that I previously mentioned, it's very important to take your chameleon to a herb vet. Here are things you are going to need to get started. Slides, gloves, fecalizer, fecal solution, a microscope. Make sure your microscope is capable of 400 times and 200 times magnification, indicated here by the 40x and the 10x. Use paper towel or newspaper to put under your workspace. We are using a puppy bed. Here we have our fecal sample. The fresher the better. Try not to test a sample more than 24 hours old. Remove the center part from your fecalizer and collect a small pea-sized amount of matter in the bottom. Place the centerpiece back in the fecalizer, but do not push it down tight. Make sure it can still twist freely. Next, pour some fecal solution into the fecalizer, about halfway. You can use a syringe, eyedropper, or a bottle with a flip lid to make the solution easier to control. Agitate the solution by turning the centerpiece side to side like a washing machine. You want the sample to break up and mix with the solution. Once it is all mixed up, push the centerpiece down so it snaps into place. I recommend covering the top with a paper towel to prevent any matter from splashing out. Use your dropper to fill the fecalizer all the way up to the top. Keep filling until you see the liquid bubble up on the top. Take a glass slip cover and place it on top of the fecalizer. Make sure the liquid comes in contact with the slip cover. Leave the slip cover on for 20 minutes, allowing time for the parasites to float to the top while the heavier matter sinks to the bottom. After 20 minutes, you're ready to put your slide cover on your slide. Gently remove it and place it onto your slide. You can now close the cover on your fecalizer and discard it. Now let's see what we have. Use the 200 times or the 400 times and move the slide back and forth trying to cover the whole slide. You will see a lot of debris and some may even be recognizable as cricket parts or feeder parts. It will be your job to pick out any worms or eggs. When you do come across an egg, like this pinworm egg, it sticks out from the rest. If you find an egg, keep scanning the slide and look for more. Here's another. And a few more. They might be scattered sporadically or all clumped together. You may even see the worms moving around in the eggs. Here is one that has already broke out of the egg and is ready to find a new host.
Here is an example of what coccidia looks like at 200 times. And at 400 times. It is not uncommon to find more than one type of parasite on a slide. Here is coccidia and pinworm. Get a copy of Understanding Reptile Parasites, second edition. Inside you will find information on how to identify a wide variety of parasites, as well as charts on course of treatment. Some medications will require a vet prescription, so always consult your veterinarian before administering any treatments. Okay.